So we're talking about a covered call. Um, so a covered call contains two separate positions, uh, a, a purchased stock and a written call option. Um, just to recap, when you're writing a call option, you're giving somebody to buy from you um, whenever they feel like it at the strike price or until the maturity. So they have the option to buy from you as the writer, as you are the writer. So we are going to look at an example of uh, a covered call. So as usual, we'll go with the Apple um, stock, the current price as of closing on June 21st, uh, Friday is 198.78. And then we're gonna simulate different prices. So we're talking about Apple. Um, sport price is 198.78. And we're gonna write a call and we are gonna write it at a strike price of <clears throat> $205. And the price for this is, let's take a look. So this is one week call option and 205 is 55 cents. That's it. So <clears throat> what's gonna happen at different prices? We are going to uh, simulate different prices and the, the current price is uh, 198.78. And then we now have two positions. The long stock, that's Apple, which means that we actually own um, Apple shares. We already own it. And, um, and let's say that we actually bought them today, right? So perhaps we should just include a, um, Purchase price for our Apple, 198.78. Um, and then we are going to write, and we're gonna look at exercise value. Uh, the premium could be significantly different. Uh, we're just not gonna look at it for simplicity purposes at, at this time. There's just so much unknown that goes into the calculation of the premium, so we leave that to a, a different lecture. So at this point, we bought Apple at 198.78 and the current price of Apple is 198.78. So our long position in Apple, meaning we own Apple, but we have a $0 profit or loss on this one. We just bought it. Now the written call exercise value, we have a call option that we have written at a strike price of $205 which means that somebody has a right to buy Apple from us. Now notice, we wrote the call option against the stocks that we already own. So this is referred to as a covered call or stock covered call. Now somebody has a right to buy our Apple shares at 205 when the Apple current trading price is 198.78. They would never do this. And therefore, we wouldn't be able to sell our Apple shares at 205, and therefore the written call exercise value would be zero. If the price of Apple goes down to 195, well, our long stock position would be at a loss because we bought our Apple shares at 198.78, so we kind of lost, well, not kind of, we lost $3.78. Now the written call exercise value in this case, well again, somebody has a right to buy our Apple shares at 205 and current price is 195. Why should they buy it from us at 205? They will simply buy from the market at 195, which makes our call option exercise value to be zero. If the price goes down to 180, well then we have a, we bought our shares of Apple at 198 and the current price is 180, so we lost $18.78 per share. With respect to our written call, somebody has a right to buy our Apple shares at 205, 
fine, we wish. But then again, it's their call. We sold it to them. So these people will not exercise that option and not buy these Apple shares from us at 205. They could simply buy it from the market at 180. And therefore, the value of this call now is zero. Now, if the price goes to, say, 200, now, we bought these shares at 198.78, so we have a profit of $1.22. The written call, somebody has the right to buy from us at 205. The current price is 200, so they would not exercise this option. Say at 205, we have a profit of $6.22 on our long Apple position. With respect to the written call, at 205, the buyer of our option is indifferent and therefore the exercise value is zero. And 210, well, we have a position that we bought at 198.78 and now those shares are worth 210, therefore we are at a profit of $11.22. Now our written call has some value. Now, somebody has a right to buy from us at 205 and sell it back to the market at 210, and they would do this. Therefore, they will sell at 210, and then they will buy it from us at 205, which makes the written call exercise value to be $5. At 220, we now have significant profit on the shares that we bought. We bought them at a 198.78. Current price is 220. And therefore, we have a profit of $21.22 on that individual long stock position. Now, our written call, somebody has a right to buy from us at 205, and they could sell it back to the market at 220. Therefore, their profit will be 220 minus 205 and $15 of an exercise value. Now, let's look at the call after purchase price. Well, remember, we actually collected, this is the exercise value. We actually collected 55 cents. So this specific call has a value that is the exercise value minus the commission the buyer paid for it. Exercise value minus the commission that the buyer paid for it. Now, writer's outcome means we actually have just exactly the opposite of whatever the buyer has. So this is our profit. Notice we have a 55 cents of a profit as long as the option is not exercised. But once the option is exercised, we actually have a significant loss. Okay, so what happens to our covered call? So with a covered call, it is the profit that we make on the actual stock. And by the way, I just noted that, noticed that these are supposed to be uh, losses. Oops. And then this is supposed to be a loss. Right, so the long stock has a loss as the price goes down, and long stock has a profit as the price goes up. So the covered call will be the long stock's outcome plus whatever the writer's outcome is for the option that we've written. Again, it's the long stock outcome plus writing the call options outcome. Now, notice that with a covered call, we have, obviously, because we own the stock, we have a loss. But our loss is 55 cents less compared to a position without the call. Meaning, if we only own the stock, we would have had a loss of $18.78. If we only own the stock, 
we would have had a loss of $18.78. But we wrote a call option against it and we collected a 55 cents for it. And therefore, our loss now is what we lost on the stock plus our commission or our price that we collected to write this call option and therefore $18.23. Also, because we wrote the call option at a 205, meaning that we actually are hoping to sell at a higher price, we basically locked ourselves into a position of 205 and our purchase price, $6.22 of a profit if our call option is exercised. Now, anything above and beyond the 205, we wouldn't realize any more than the 622 because we promised somebody that we will sell our shares to them at 205. The stock price could be $2,000 and yet we promised somebody that we would sell our shares to them at $205. If it is exercised, we would make a profit of $6.22 because we bought our shares at 198.78 and we sold them at 205. If it is exercised, we would realize a $6.22 of a profit. Bought it at 198 and sold it at 205. Now, notice we collect a 55 cents of a um, price for writing this option, which makes our profit 677, which means that no matter what the price is, the price can be a thousand dollars, in which case your profit on the long stock would be $801. Written call exercise value, written call exercise value would be, see what we did right here is we simply took the strike price and we deducted what the purchase price is or what the spot price is. So somebody has a right to buy from us at 205 and sell it to the market at 1000. That gives them $795 of a profit. Um, and then what we did here was to deduct the price that people paid for this to buy this option from us. So this minus the 55 cents. The writer's outcome is exactly the opposite of this. And now with the covered call, it doesn't really matter because we promised to sell this stock through writing this call option at 205. And for this promise, we collected 55 cents. Now, why should we do this or why would we do this? Well, there's a limited price increase a stock can realize in any given week. If you're not expecting anything out of the ordinary, if you're not expecting the Apple's price to be all the way, you know, above the 205, then this is a way to make income. Um, it is, it still bears risk because you're, you, you will end up selling the long stock that you own at 205 and maybe a thousand dollars is a, is a huge exaggeration, but if the price goes to 220 for something for whatever reason, then you could have actually realized the $21 and 22 cents of a profit just owning the stock and you sold this upside potential for a mere 55 cents of a, um, a call price. So it really caps your top profit and you basically promise to sell your stock to somebody at a fixed price uh, until a maturity date. And this uh, limits the potential profit that you could earn on that stock until that maturity date. However, if you do not expect a huge uh, price increase, and you could actually write this a little bit higher, obviously, and uh, collect a little bit less. So let's take a look at a couple examples. So instead of uh, 205, if you were to write it at 210, you would collect a 13 cents, uh, so $13 per contract. 220, um, $4 per contract, um, you know, after commissions, you probably wouldn't, not, not probably, you, you wouldn't have, have any money left, but it is what it is. So these are 
what you would actually get from covered calls. So if you think the market is going to go down and um, you know, you're okay by taking some risk, if you were to write this at uh, 2025 by Friday's closing, if the price is below 2025, you get to keep your stocks and the, one, the call option that you've written dies worthless and you get to keep $1.11. So this is what a covered call is. So thank you.